Hello there guys, Mr. Dramlord here, and today I'm going to show you how you can correctly use the Roblox Legacy Launcher. I can stop getting comments on my Roblox Legacy video about using it. One of the most popular requests on how to use this that I got on that video, which is two years old by the way, is... How did you make your character appear in 2011 quiet? With this costume? Well... The people over at Le Roblox Legacy have actually added in a feature called Avatar. With this Avatar, so known as character customization, you can actually make your character. So maybe you want them to have a, um, gr a face like that, a green body, a darker green arm, and then maybe some brown hair like that, and you can do that. Now if you go over the face, you can add a face. Add any face you want, and it's all yours. At least it's going to go with the default face. And with hats, that's right, you can add your own hats. So, I'll just keep these settings here. Actually, let's add a gold fedora, if I can find it. And here it is, Sparkle Time Fedora. Okay, so there we go. So now, with a name, you can just simply do your name. And this is where I was talking about the ID. Now, this is if you want to have your character loaded in 2011 quiet, so put in your ID. So, remember, if you want to make a server for you to play on, on older versions of the game, click local play mode. And you can also watch Roblox Studio in that mode. As you can see, I've got the 2009 client and base plate loaded. So, if we go over the clients, this is where you've got our clients. Now, with the newest version of Roblox Legacy Launcher, you can choose from a fake 2006 client, a fake 2007 client, 2008 client, 2009 client, 2010 client, 2011 client, and mid-2008 client. Now you can read the client information, I'm not going you know, to stop you. But console, which like, totally you updates and all that. Changelog. Now, let's go to the host. Now with the host, you can start up different world worlds. We've got base play, green screen, got legacy. Let's just go across for a time. Now, click play solo. After no time at all, you can see that the game is loaded, and it's fully playable. So now, you can experiment. Keep watching the video, and I'll see you all next time.